What's up, everybody? Today we're going to be discussing this parallel Bible that I stumbled across. Uh, I'm actually really excited to share this resource with you. It parallels four different translations of the Bible. The New International Version, the New King James Version, the New Living Translation, and the Message. Uh, it really isn't that expensive, and I want to show you what that looks like and what you're going to get and why that's something that you might want. If you're new here, I'm Steve. Thank you so much for stopping by. While you're here, you're going to get encouraged and equipped to be the Christian you claim to be by going through scripture and reviewing solid tools and resources to help make your day-to-day -day better and more Christ-focused. If that sounds like something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button and let's get into it. So let's take a look at this, uh, this parallel Bible. This is a resource that I, I honestly think that you should have something like this. Uh, this is a resource that you might be able to find or use digitally that I, I'm also okay with, but there's a reason that I like it. So let's sh quick show you how big it is, because this is big and we'll get to the inside. This will be a quick review um, because it's not so much the content. The content are these four, well, three translations and one paraphrase. We'll talk a little bit about that in just a minute. Uh, but you're looking at six and a half inches by nine and a half inches by two and a quarter. So this is a bigger Bible. This is, this is a hard copy. Um, but this, for me, is a resource. I'm glad I found it, and it, it's a study tool. And here's why. What it has inside it are these different, again, three translations, one paraphrase, all next to each other. So let's get rid of the dust jacket. It does come with a dust jacket. And um, if you take the dust jacket off, it looks just fine. Sometimes books are literally just plain when you take the dust jacket off. This tells you what it is. So I've done a couple of videos on daily devotionals and routines. Uh, I'll drop a link up there for you. But one of those involves like word studies and comparing translations because you want to know what other people have to say. So you are gonna get a presentation page with this and it's gonna give you a bunch of information in the front, the table of contents, and you're gonna get a preface to each one of these translations. This, is, this resource is great for comparing, comparing verses and comparing the wording and the translation philosophy. So let's flip open just to the middle here so you can see this. Now, for those of you who are familiar with my page, uh, I am not a big proponent of the message. I, I don't particularly like paraphrases. I think that they can be dangerous. I don't have a problem with Eugene Peterson. I want to make that known. Um, but uh, but I, I think that he takes some liberties with his translation of the text that I just am not okay with. Um, but that's why I'm excited that this particular parallel Bible has all four of these. Because what you get here is <clears throat> the New King James Version. Okay, so that's this. All these verses match up together. Let me see if I hold it a little closer if you'll get an idea. So you get the New King James Version in one column, and there's your essentially literal translation, right? As close to word for word as we can get it. Then you're going to get New International Version. This is uh, pretty much the, the most widely published translation of the Bible. You can get a, the New Living Translation, which is a little further down the line in the spectrum. It still is a uh, thought for thought or dynamic equivalent translation. And then you're going to get the message, which is a paraphrase. And basically what a paraphrase is, is the guy who wrote it, in this case, Eugene Peterson's idea of what the scripture says. So the reason that I think this is a great resource for you to have is because I think that you need to see how different translators translate the text, different teams of translators, and what makes this a paraphrase and what makes this essentially literal, essentially literal um, or a formal equivalent, and what makes these two dynamic equivalents. So as you're reading and studying your passages, this particular Bible is going to make it much easier for you to read verse 7, verse 7, verse 7, verse 7, in all four of these different texts to A, 
number one, gain a better understanding of the text, and B, it's gonna help you see uh, that a lot of times the message may take liberties that are really somewhat unacceptable to take. Sometimes it helps you understand the text better. Again, I'm, I'm not trying to pick on Eugene Peterson, but what is important is that the word of God is the word of God, and we learn how to study it and let it speak for itself. We always need to trust our translators. You need to trust the translators of the New King James Version, just like you need to trust the translators of the New Living Translation. And if you can't do that, you need to study who those translators are. But when it comes to a paraphrase, and there's only a couple of them out there, um, it, it really is basically one guy's understanding of what it means, and it's, it's all his theology. There's, I'm going to say, slightly less checks and balances. And when we're studying scripture, it's important to get it right. You don't want to be studying what one guy thinks. You want to be studying the inerrant, infallible word of God. And that's the difference between the two of these, is this is the inerrant, infallible word of God, the canon of the script, well, in its original autographs. Um, but this is the scripture. This is what some guy thinks the scripture says. And it's important to understand the difference between the two of those. As you flip through this Bible, you're going to get very easily compare... Uh, very easily comparison how different verses word things and hey listen as you're reading uh, there are times let's say you're uh, let's say you're leading a bible study or something to that effect there are times and maybe you're teaching out of the new king james version very often but you read the same verse and um, you read the same verse in the new international version and the way they translated it makes it easier for you to explain. Hey, great. You know, my, my guess is, is um, that your pastor has done this and they usually make an exception. You know, he usually teaches out of the NIV. But during his sermon, he says, oh, you know, he reads a verse and it says, but I really like the way the NLT says it uh, for one reason or another. And this makes it really easy to see those things. So this was just a quick look at what a parallel Bible is. I know because I saw a couple of them while I was looking through them. Um, there's not a lot of extras. This isn't a study Bible. Uh, it, you know, there are translator's notes on the bottom because there always has to be translator's notes. But there isn't a reference suite. The whole point of this is to compare between these four translations. You can get... Uh, parallel Bibles and all sorts. You can get Greek. If you if you read and speak Greek and Hebrew, you can get Greek and whatever, New King James. You can get uh, King James Version, New King James Version, New Living Translation, The Message, or NIV and NASB. You can find a parallel Bible that might help you in the ways that I just mentioned. Compare the verses gain a better understanding of scripture, which is going to draw us closer to God and make sure we understand what he's trying to say to us in this particular case. And that's why I bought this one, to be honest with you, the three translations are going to help me explain and understand why a paraphrase is not appropriate, <laughs> is not appropriate for study and is not appropriate to, uh, to hold water or to, to bear the weight of scripture, so to speak. Uh, because it's not. It's one guy's idea of what it is, and these three verses are going to show you that uh, when when there are variants. And, and sometimes the variants are important, and it's important to understand that this one, the message, is not a translation. Uh, and these translations are going to help you see that. If you have any questions, again, I want to be very, very, very clear. I'm not picking on uh, Eugene Peterson. I'm not picking on the message. Um, I just want you to understand that a paraphrase is not a translation. And while it may help you understand things a little better, we don't want to rest on that. We don't, we don't want to fully place our faith and trust in a, in a paraphrase. Because even though he might be right most of the time, there's, there might be some things that he gets wrong because it's, it's this person's translation, whereas, or it's this person's paraphrase when a translation is put through a team of uh, men and women that are highly skilled and highly respected in their fields and they all cross check each other um, and they have a translation philosophy, which means 
we're going to translate this phrase or this word in this way. And it goes through a lot of those checks and balances, so to speak, where paraphrases, not so much. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down in the description. Of course, I'll do my best to answer them. And I hope that if you've never heard of something like this before, uh, that you'd be interested. The, this one was only like 25 or $30. Uh, it says, I didn't show you this at the beginning. It says $59.99. That's not what I paid. <laughs> I got it on Amazon for like 25 bucks on sale. So pick one up uh, so, so you can read and learn and study. Hey, thank you guys for watching and hanging in there with me. If you found value in this video, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Maybe share it with a friend that also may be interested in this content. Here's a couple other videos that you might be interested in. And there's always new stuff coming out, so make sure you keep your eye out for that. Most important, don't forget, be who you claim to be.